Welcome back to Cricketbat Info, everybody. It's Mark here, and today we're doing a Hummingbird Players Edition straight after this. So firstly, thank you very much to Brent Smith from Hummingbird Cricket. He reached out to me and said, hey, look, interested in reviewing one of the bats? I said, yep. He sent it over. This is a Hummingbird Players bat. I've got some B-roll of uh, the bag that it came in. Really good quality. And this is the Players Edition. Let's have a good close look at it. I've never had a Hummingbird in before. Nice stickers. These are embossed. Textured. You've got a Waratah there. Black and gold with a natural accent under there. And hummingbird with a feather in silver and on this side hummingbird I can show you that down here a silver hummingbird which is also embossed so it's very tidy isn't it it's the profile very much a mid to mid low profile. It's a big bat. Uh, not to be confused with something that's going to be on the light side. Nice and full through the profile. Just move this out of the way. Light my new prop. So, there you go. Look, nice full profile. And you can see there, it's almost reaching the top. And it's full all the way through. Seems to be a tiny bit of narrowing. But edges are nice and big, and that nice full player's shape that people like. Hummingbird Cricket started five years ago. He was inspired by having a passion for cricket bats. He is self-taught. His bats are handled and pressed overseas, UK made, and shaped here in Australia by him. He does offer custom orders for fussy buyers, and the bat we're reviewing today is the players, and that is 475 Australian dollars with that cover that I've showed in the other footage that I play over the top. And he also does a butterfly, which is 275, and the reserve, which is his top of the line for 575. The player's bat was first released in 2016. He does offer different handle shapes, and you can also get bat preparation from him at an additional cost. This particular bat has been sent in unprepared, so it's just pressed. And he's on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll leave those uh, links in the description. Always check out the descriptions if there's any information I haven't covered. I'll put it all in there. Pretty busy tonight for some reason. I've had dogs barking and everything else, but um, that's just the nature of it. This uh, channel started in my garage and it continues on. I've just prettied it up. This, uh, this is the latest addition with a, a new covering here. I made the stickers myself. Got that made on AliExpress. So let's start firstly at the shoulder here, like I normally do. So that's 12.4, fairly narrow right up the top there. But in the center, 37.6, so it's good. There's a lot of depth in the top of the splice. Up here at the top of the edge, which you'll see is in a mid-low position, looking at a 41 mil edge. Down here at the edge of the toe, fairly heavily cambered too, 22 millimeters. You can see that cam, have a look at it. It's fairly heavily cambered. Measure the center of the toe, 28.9. I'll measure the width. I do think it's a little bit narrow. Yeah, it's 105, so. But um, I've got to say, actually it's a bit narrower at the bottom too. What's it at the top? So 105.6 plane or whatever, he's probably going more towards the toe. Uh, but it also will balance it more because there's less weight down at the toe. I mean, you shouldn't be hitting down this area here. Your main hitting area is this area here. Um, let's do the spine. So that spine is located a little bit higher than the top of the edge. It's a bit of an offset there. It's a big size spine. Uh, it's probably 64 and a half millimeters, so that's really good. Uh, really big bat, to be honest. Um, it is narrowed. What does it actually feel like in my hand? So I'm holding it off camera. 
Yeah, it feels 211, to be honest with you. 211. The handle shape is predominantly round at the top, medium to thin, and the top here is semi oval. There's a little bit more oval up here near the splice. Let's have a look under the. And it looks like he's cut that down a bit or, just, or sanded it down. And we've got three black rubbers and he's glued down the bindings. He's used some sort of glue that reminds me of the um, tight bond or something. It's more yellow than white, doesn't dry clear. So I'm trying to twist the handle and I'm not getting any. I have shifted to a different lens from now on. I'm using a 14mm prime. I was using a 12mm kit lens, uh, but I got this off uh, eBay secondhand, so I thought I'll give it a go. Now, what does it actually weigh? I said it felt like 211, and it's nearly 212. Somebody who's in the middle order, who's going to be playing their shots, really hitting, uh, they've got a lot to work with with this profile. Predominantly a front foot player. We'll tap it up now and I'll tell you what I think of the press. Starting at the toe. So a nice press at the toe, fairly. It's not soft. So a nice performance there in a low position. And that middle is where most of the action is. And once this bat is oiled and knocked in by a knocking in video you can use, I put one out uh, a week or so ago, goes through my process in depth, you'll see that the bat generally tends to improve once it's properly knocked. And this one's got definitely plenty of performance. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. $475. You know, and you take into account the level of quality that you're getting, those stickers. Uh, and the last thing that I haven't even touched on is just the quality of the finish. I mean, the actual sanding on this is perfect. The bat maker has actually taken a lot of time to get this finish absolutely stunning. And I don't think that's just for the camera. It's just attention to detail. Chatting with uh, Brent online through Facebook Messenger, and I'm sort of apologising every night for why I haven't filmed this thing. I could get the sense that he does this as a business on the side. He's got a main job, like most of us have to do. You can't support yourself just making cricket bats uh, these days, particularly when you're establishing yourself. And he really loves uh, cricket and wants to give something back to the game. So he's putting a lot of his love into the bat, and you can see that shine through with the quality of it and just the general aesthetics. I think it's a really good quality looking bat. And um, I think it's punching well above its weight. The press on it is really nice. So there you have it. That is the Hummingbird Cricket Players Bat by Brent Smith over in Victoria. Links are all in the description. If you're interested, give him a bell. This bat will be heading back to him and I'm sure he can make you another one. As good, pay hundred bucks more and get a reserve. This is Cricket Bat Info and I have been trying to release videos every Sunday, but that release schedule always compromises the quality of the videos and my editing. So you might find from this point forward, you may not get a video every Sunday, uh, but when I do release it will be because I'm absolutely happy with the video. Look forward to seeing you on the next video and we've got some nice bats coming up uh, for you to see. See you on the next video.